I could sell 100 of these in a day. Pearl white, pearl white, blacked out rims. You like class, right? Yeah. Girl, this has got class. Check this out. Come over here. You want to sit back and rely on hope and chances? Bullsh I want dependable success. That's why sales will make you rich. They banished me, never to be seen. To a place where the years always fill the screams. All right, guys, Andy Elliott, I'm here at the Lion's Den. I know everybody knows what the Lion's Den is. That's where we live. Now, you guys, I know we're going to get some haters today because I'm in my flip flops and I'm sitting outside, but I'm going to make an example about what putting a show worth paying for, like what that even means, right? Now, if you're looking at our building, we got a 70,000 square foot building inside. We got a seminar room that holds 500 people, you know, every time we have a session. Those 500 people, every time that they're there, every chair matters, every person matters. If there's 500 people, or I'm on a stage, last week I was on a stage with 10,000 people. We were speaking with David Goggins, Ed Milet, all these guys. 10,000 people, 500 people, or one person. It doesn't freaking matter. The question is, are you putting on a show worth paying for? That's what it's all about. And a lot of people, they don't think about that one-on-one, -on -one, right? It's like, oh, how you doing? How can I help you? No, dude, think about this. You're on the big stage. You got 10,000 people, right? They're all counting on you. They came here to pay you, to change their life, to give you a new way to think, to let them see with the new set of lenses. Are you gonna bring it? Or are you gonna put on a show worth paying for? So I'm gonna take you back at this time. I started selling cars. Selena knows this. She works with me, guys. If you don't know who Selena is, you need to go follow her on Instagram right now. She's amazing. By the way, Selena, um, we're gonna talk, this is a vehicle here, because we're gonna talk about doing a walk around. We're gonna talk about when I'm on stage with 500 people and I'm, and I'm communicating. We're we're gonna talk about when it's me and you one-on-one -on -one in our office and we're, we're speaking. We're gonna talk about when it's me and my son and I'm trying to convince him to go work out, get in the gym, take care of himself. When I'm gonna talk about it's my wife's birthday and I'm like, babe, let's go out. She's like, no, I don't wanna go out. And I'm like, babe, we gotta, what happens? I go into sell mode, I go into beast mode, I go into influence, persuasion, paint pictures, tell stories, sell ideas, sell situation mode. We go into transfer of emotion mode. My wife's like, really don't feel like it. I'm like, babe, what do you mean? It's your birthday. Let's roll. Customer comes in, I only got 10 minutes. What do you mean? Nobody swings by when they only got 10 minutes. I got you. There's something that's bothering you. You wanna get it taken care of. It's not that you got 10 minutes. It's just that you don't wanna waste your time on something that can't fix your problem. Am I right? Yep. Bam! Yep. What's going on, man? That's what's missing in this world. Look, dude, when COVID happened, people had to wear a mask, stand six feet apart, they got disconnected, they stopped communicating. Like, dude, if you guys wanna learn how to build a life, a great life, you wanna learn how to be the best, you wanna make a lot of money, you wanna build something that no one else has built, I need you to listen to me right now. The most dangerous skill you could learn in your life is the ability to communicate and put on a freaking show worth paying for. And people walk by and they're like, oh, that guy over there, he's like that. Dude, your wife looks at you and she's like, dude, this guy's a dud. I wish my husband was the guy at the party dancing, but my husband's at the party sitting on his ass thinking he's too cool. Because he's worried about getting up and everybody thinking about, what's everybody thinking about mm -hmm. me? Do listen to me, put on a show worth paying for. You're an amateur, you don't know what you're doing, raise your standards, raise your energy, raise your state. Do people buy in a good mood or a bad mood? Good mood. In a good mood. Selena, you're telling me if someone's in a bad mood, can you see them going, well, I'm really cranky today, but yeah, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> No, you got to get them in a good mood. So it doesn't matter how I meet Selena, what state she's in, it matters what state I put her in. Guys, that's the secret, okay? So this video is about putting on a show worth paying for, which no one freaking does in the world anymore. Mm -hmm. So going back to 20, or 1999, Selena, when I started selling cars, I literally sat there and I was like, you know what? My manager told me, he goes, oh, people are going to pull in through those gates, or they're going to come in to look at a car they saw on the internet. And when they come in, people buy from people that remind them of their friends. People buy from people that they like. If they like you, they'll listen to you. If they believe you, they'll buy from you. They gotta like you. So what's step one? We gotta bring attitude. We gotta bring emotion. We gotta bring good energy. We gotta make sure that we bring something good to the table. We gotta give first. Hey Selena, what's going on? Hope you're having the best day of your life. Andy Elliott, it's a pleasure to meet you. Where'd you drive from today? And I come in and immediately I make Selena feel like the fact that she drove here today, she's special, she's important to me, and she's met someone that actually enjoys what they do, right? Like how many times do you go shake somebody's hand and they're like, 
help you find someone? Who are you looking for? You can see it in the yeah, eyes. Yeah, what it is. It's like, dude, they're an order taker. They're mm -hmm. dead. I said, dead Bob. They're dead. They don't care. They're not alive. Hey, guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm going to be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have train with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not going to charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're going to train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's going to be three days straight. This room is going to be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA Group stands for, is the core values, the standards, and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're going to be with these like-minded people and you're going to be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-0254. Write it down. It's very simple. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. Look, dude, I can meet people and I can tell whether something special is going on in their life or whether it's not, okay? So this is just an opportunity right now for everybody to understand. If you want to build a big life, people got to see you and they got to be attracted to you. They got to be attracted to what you stand for. They got to be, they got to see that you're passionate. Write that down. You're passionate about what you do, right? I don't want to buy from somebody that I can clearly tell doesn't want to be where they're at with me. So when I started selling cars, I always wanted to be that person that walked outside. I tore that wall down as fast as possible. I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable. I wanted to get to where we could get a relationship going together and then I could solve and help their problem. Now, let's go to right now, don't be like the rest of the people in the world. Okay, what does that mean, Andy? Well, 1999, real quickly, I learned when I started selling cars that all the car salesmen, when it got to the point like, what are you looking for today? Oh my God, I think I got one of those. Let me go grab the keys. And then they would grab and they would pull up this car like this and they would say, I got it. And then they would do this. They would hand the keys over and they'd say, want to drive it? Or they'd say, walk around it, see what you think. Go sit down inside. See what you think. Dude, are you kidding me? You're gonna give over control? Dude, this was my lot. Now listen to me, a lot of you right now, this is my business, this is my company, this is my life. I'm putting on a show we're paying for. You wanna sit back, rely on hope and chances? Bullshit. I want dependable success. How can I get dependable success? Selena, when I pull this car up, her ass is gonna fall in love with this car. Who is it up to to make her fall in love? Me, me, if I'm not excited about it, how in the hell can she be excited about it? By the way, people say that people hate being sold. People hate being sold. Bullshit. People love reasons and excuses why they should buy. People are sitting at the kitchen table thinking about buying something. They go into a place, they meet dead Bob, and then they leave because no one helped them with what they wanted. Somebody's clearly struggling. Somebody wants something to change. Somebody wants something, something new. So when you meet me, I'm gonna make that happen. That's why sales will make you rich. It's your job, guys, to make sure you're different than everybody else. So I'm gonna give an example. So and you'll go back to 1999. I'm looking out the window and I'm watching these other salespeople not getting excited. And so literally, first thing I did is I said, well, if I clearly wanna do better than them, then I want my clients, listen, I want my clients to see me work hard for them. I want Selena, if she's my customer today, I want Selena to see the efforts that I'm putting in to please her and make her happy. I mean, isn't that cool to think that somebody would actually go extra for you? Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question. If I go extra for you, if I do more for you, when it comes down to the time where we need to make a decision, do you feel like you may make some exceptions for somebody that's worked extra yeah. hard? Make it easier. Mm -hmm. Make it easier for me. But if I didn't work extra hard, it's really hard for me, if you felt like I didn't give any extra, for you to want to give any extra for me. Correct. How does it make you feel, honestly, when someone goes out of their way to give more, and even though it may be uncomfortable for them, and you can tell that they're literally going above and beyond, how does that make you feel internally that like you need to make sure you do your part now? Yeah, uh, it makes me feel more appreciated. When you appreciate me, I want to appreciate you back. Bam! Reciprocity. Mm -hmm. So I watched all these duds out there in the world and then I became the guy that the whole company talked about. So when it was time to go get the keys, like, oh my God, Selena, I got this idea. You're not going to believe this. I would literally take off running and people are like, 
Dude, who's that guy running across the lot in his dress shoes? Who's that guy running? It's that kid who cares. Yeah. It's that kid that's always trying to please his customers. It's that kid that's putting on a show worth paying for. And then I'd run back. <laughs> Selena, you're not gonna believe this, dude. And by the way, I'll be right back, okay? I know it's hot outside. You guys, get you some cold glass of water. Stay right here in the shade. I'll be right back. They're like, you, and they'd say, you don't, you don't need to run. No, no, no. I got you guys. Your time's valuable to you. You guys are important to me. Yeah. I'm gonna run for you. They're like, what? Nobody's ever ran for us. I know. I'd run, go get the car. I'd pull it up. Now they're watching this hustle. Now they've all, I've already set the standard. Now I'm like, Selena, okay, 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now listen to me, girl. Look, I know it looks like a 2025 brand new off the showroom floor. It's 2021. Selena, here in a second, I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna have you look at the odometer. It says it's got 61,000 miles. But if we covered the odometer and you had to guess, you'd literally think it had 5,000 miles on it. That's how nice this thing is. Selena, if I had 100 of these, you could, I could sell 100 of these in a day. Pearl white, pearl white, blacked out rims. You like class, right? Yeah. Girl, this has got class. Check this out, come over here. See these fog lights? You know, whenever it's a little foggy outside and you're driving, you got these lights that go out to the side so, so you can see a little better. These right here, hit that little button, boop, right there, bam! You can see in any weather. Cool stuff, right? Yeah. Hey, most people don't like this little stuff. This is the big stuff. Seeing is important, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's actually big stuff. It looks little. The little things are what create the big stuff know. happening. By the way, come over here. Put your finger in this tire tray. Look at that, it's deep. It's like the Grand Canyon. It's like the Grand Canyon of tires, right there. You know what those things? Those things are like new. 60,000 miles steel belt and radial tires. Super safe for you and your family, and they're smooth on the road. When you drive, you're gonna notice how quiet this car is. Why? Because they didn't go cheap on the tires, okay? It's like this, you got nice shoes on today, right? Yes. Okay, what if you had bad shoes on? The whole outfit gets ruined. Correct. See these wheels? They're the shoes of the car. So you got nice shoes, you got nice wheels, it's gonna be quiet inside. High five. Hey, what am I doing, man? <laughs> no! Hey. Hey, listen to me. You say, he's not selling anything. I'm providing customer service. For all you order takers out there that wanna say, hi, Selena. So today, we got a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This, this, this car has electric windows. You're gonna see electric windows, Selena. You're gonna have your, your lumbar support that's gonna support your lower back here. Um, and, and people say, oh man, well, I would rather have that. Bullshit. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I broke every record in my life and not because I wasn't good, because I was good. And I'm gonna tell you, we're in a world right now where people don't stand out, where people don't care about making a difference, where people don't respect the fact that people work hard for their money and when they spend it, they wanna be treated right, they want a show worth paying for, and people say, well, I don't need somebody to do that. I just want you to give me what I want. It's not the way it works. You may think that's the way it works, it's not the way it works. Matter of fact, that's the death star for a salesman to not give energy. When I say transfer of emotion, whose job is it to have their shit together? Me. When I say transfer of emotion, I can't, I can't let Selena have something that I don't have. Do I want Selena to have courage to make a decision today? Yeah, so I gotta mm -hmm. give Selena courage right now to have a little fun while she's with me now. Yeah. If I can get you to have courage with me now, we can have courage inside. If I can get you to laugh, crack smiles, and joke with me now, when we get inside and we start talking about numbers and money and the stress comes in and people start thinking, you know, I don't know if I need this right now, I'm not really sure, but we've had that good relationship, I'm able to intervene at that point in time, say, hey Selena, look, just remember we were outside. Remember we were laughing, we were high-fiving a joke. Remember we did all that stuff? Selena, listen to me. What I've learned is a lot of people interfere, getting what they want, they never get what they want because they, they overthink it with money. Listen, the money's gonna get spent anyways. It's gonna, it's gonna get spent at the mall, it's gonna get spent there. What, shouldn't it get spent on something you're gonna spend a third of your life in, yeah. which is your car? Yeah. Your family's gonna be in. You know, imagine when you drive to work, right? You're listening to your favorite music, you got, you got the best speaker system, it's super smooth on the road. You, you see it in the driveway, you're driving to work, you fill up, you feel like a boss, you feel like the queen, you're doing a good job, you work hard. So you get a nice car, okay? Listen to me, yeah, it might cost a couple hundred more bucks a month, but if we really look at what things cost, this is worth paying for, that junk over there in the mall, the 7-Eleven gas station, that crap, that stuff's gotta go. Plus, I could go into things like warranty because it's a newer car. I could go into things like fuel economy because it's a newer vehicle that gets better gas mileage. Like, look, technology's gotten better. There's a lot of savings that will come with other things. Maybe your payment goes up, but also you're saving in a lot of other areas, right? And then, by the way, you got one life. Short, we got a lot to do. You want to enjoy it, right? Yep. This is how you enjoy it. See, it's like, guys, this stuff right here, this conversation, these smiles, I remember, um, and I'm gonna give you guys some good stuff here, but I started doing all this business on the internet, right? And then when people would come in, I'd give them a quick walk around, mm -hmm. get them excited as hell, 
every one of them said yes. I had a manager who told me when I was 18 years old, he goes, there's this yes ladder. And I know you've probably heard it before. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And, and by the way, like back in the day, he was like, you got to get 76 yeses. And I don't know, they just must have made up this shit, right? But I was like, 76 yeses. Okay. So I would be like, Selena, you know, it, it, it makes sense that having safe, uh, safety in your tires is important to you, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And Selena, having tinted windows so the sun don't come in and you're know, on your face and, you know, obviously you're driving down the road, you got sunspots on this side and this side's good. <laughs> you got to have tinted windows. And obviously UV protection is important for your kids in the back. Am I right? Yes. So it's like, yes, 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 yes. Dude, I would be literally like, yes, 27, yes, 28, <laughs> yes, 29, yes, 30. And I'm like walking around with Selena and I'm literally trying to get to 70 and then I'd get 76 I'm like yes I'm like she's ready forget the yes ladder smile ladder mm. smile ladder a smile ladder which means the more I can make Selena smile the more by the way closers have humor please so anybody who makes seven figures plus a year knows you gotta have humor yeah. you gotta be funny you gotta be quirky you may say Andy I, I, I don't I don't like selling like that. Dude, I'm quirky. I'm fun. You're overthinking it. I'm not. You're in a box. You're putting yourself with boundaries. I have no boundaries. I have no rules. I can be cool. I can laugh. They say don't cut, touch your customers. <laughs> Selena, you're crazy, girl. You're crazy. I have a relationship with my customers that you don't. I can laugh. I can, I can high five her. I can joke. I can play. I could talk to her husband. I could talk to the kids. I could give a kid a piggyback ride. You can't. I'm not you. You're not me. If you want to win, you got to stand out. It's the key. In the car business, I learned this young doing walk arounds on cars. Everybody else used to stare out the window. They see me high stepping around, jumping, having fun. Everybody said yes. Everybody was writing up. I made the biggest commissions, but yet they still laughed. Well, I laughed myself all the way to the bank. Now, we're going to fast forward to what we're doing now in this new business, and I'm going to tell you. Like I was talking about the Dean Graciosi, Tony Robbins, the Broker Blueprint training that I bought in 2019. It talked about having confidence in what you do. I had confidence as a salesperson that my job was to make people feel a certain way so it could push them over the line to do what they wanted to do. When I started watching the Broker Blueprint, Tony Robbins, I realized that when I started doing teaching now, now I'm teaching salespeople, now I'm teaching business owners, now we're teaching influencers. We're teaching everyone in the world, average people, how to not be average anymore and be great. Same confidence, Selena. Same confidence, same deal. Just like you, when you sold, you said, I won the walk around, Miss Hawaii, all this stuff, I was the best. That sh that you did was getting you ready for this. It's still the same. One-on-one -on -one or on a Zoom meeting with 5,000. What's the difference? None. There's no difference. And that's why when I see people who are doing a one-on-one -on -one transaction or on their phone with one person, I'm like, dude, why don't you pretend that 10,000 people are watching you? Why don't you pretend that the whole world right now is viewing you through a camera and winning is sitting there? Winning, the win winning, it's a spirit. It's saying, is that, do I recognize that guy? Is that guy going further? Is that guy gonna win? Or is that guy not winning? Is that, does that make me wanna turn away and leave because that's not winning? That's what I want you to know. I don't know what you do, okay? But I want you to know that the, the, the show that you put on, is it worth paying for? People say, well, I don't put on a show. Well, I feel sorry for your clients then. I feel sorry. I feel like if you're just like, well, however I feel, that's how I'm gonna be. God, I would hate to buy from you. How hard is it to say, you know what? I'm going in today and I know there's gonna be clients that are counting on me. They wanna make decisions and I know they're gonna have sticking points. And so I'm gonna make sure when I go to, go, to, go to work today, I know I'm gonna bring extra passion. I'm gonna bring extra love. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in a good state and I'm gonna push that into every single person that I'm around because I want these people when they're around me to feel a certain way because I know they came here to get something today and I want them to leave with what they came for. How about that? Andy, what happened to this world and people, remember I said this in the last video, God is so amazing, but the God of this world is comfort. And people are like, well, I just want to be me and that's not how I am. Hey, dude, your bank account is who you are right now. Your relationships is who you are right now. Your body fat percentage is who you are right now. Your happiness is who you are right now. Listen, dude, that crap, that's junk. If you know that it needs to be more for you to get more, for you to please more people, for you to make people happy, for you to take your life to the next level, then dude, you need to wake your ass up, okay? And that's, and that's what I did. And that's what Selena did. And I 
watched a lot of people not do this. I was telling someone the other day, they go, how do I be a winner? And I said, well, just, you know what a loser is, right? Just flip it. Like if this, like losers don't care. Losers don't care, Selena, right now, whether you buy or not. Losers don't care about increasing their yeah. bank account. Losers don't care about giving their family a good life. Losers don't care about living a legendary life. Losers don't live a life bigger than themselves. Losers don't care about giving more than they receive. They, they, don't, they don't care about those things. Winners, they care about all that shit. So if you want to win, just, just take what a loser is and, th and then flip it. And then what we're talking about today is what winners do. And I wish I could tell you that everybody in the world's winning right now, but they're not. And the reason why they're not winning is I, I think because they don't put on a show we're paying for. They don't study and practice every day to be the best at whatever they do. And I know we're using the analogy of the automotive industry, but the same analogy goes right here into work. And it goes into what we're doing today is in, in our company. So I wanted to make this video to you guys. Number one, transfer of emotion. Okay, the way you feel, your clients feel it. And if you feel over the top, you're super grateful, you've studied, you trained, you practice, you're, you're an animal, you're alive, you're grateful for your life, like your customers are just gonna love you, man. And they're all gonna buy from you. Even if they say they're not gonna buy from you, at the end of the experience, after the proposal, they're gonna say yes anyways. They're gonna be like, dude, I don't care. Like, this guy was so good to us, like, let's do it. Dude, I was talking to this guy the other day, and I bought my wife a Ferrari for, um, for Mother's Day. And honestly, listen to me. I, I paid more for the guy who treated me better and made us laugh. Okay, I paid more. I paid more. I want you to think about that for a minute. This guy, he was giving me a better deal at a, at a certain lot, but honestly, it felt so transactional. And I know what I want in life, and I like to be around good people, okay? And I, and I had this feeling, I always say people buy logically, but also buy with their gut. Emotionally. Right, they buy emotionally, yeah. right? Now, logically, three weeks from now, I'm still saying logically, the reason why I bought that is because of this. Like, that's the logical decision. Emotionally, what pushed me, push me over the line is I like, babe, like we know logically this makes sense and we wanna do it, but emotionally, like, man, I mean, this is the right time, this is the right place, she's the right person, I know she's gonna take care of us. Like, why not do it now, right? Like, I may take a decision that I planned on doing a month from now, and I may do it now, all because of you. And so that's what I want to tell you is that I actually ended up paying a guy a lot more money for the same commodity, the same car, because I bought him. I was sold on him, okay? So I just want to tell you guys, today, what are we getting out of this? Put on a show worth paying for. Be ultra confident. Give the extra. If you want what everybody else has, just be like everybody else. You want to be what everybody looks up to and you want people to walk up to you and go, oh my God, how did you do that? Watch this video about 10, 10 more times. If you know someone right now, by the, by the way, this video was made for you. So I want you to take action on this video now. Watch it a million times until you understand it, but also share it with someone. I mean, Selena, there's a lot of people that are watching this and they can take a think of three or four people in their company or maybe their whole company yeah. and they're like, man, I need to play this video for my entire company right now. This is your opportunity to share this, okay? We made this video for you. The fee to watching the video is to make sure you comment, you subscribe, you like it, tell me what was your favorite part. Most importantly, share it with someone else and implement what you learned so you can change your life. That's really what we care about. So, Selena, love you. Thank you for being love with us too. today. Hope you guys learned a lot out of this. We're always having fun. This is how we live. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.